Sutton, at your story anniversary party, your esophagus becomes a topic of conversation. They can be such dickheads. You don't eat food, and then your reason for not eating food is because you're like, I have a narrow esophagus, which like- Hang on, hang on, I do eat food. Oh, I, I didn't say you did. You're not my doctor, what? I get it, but you're saying things that don't, don't make sense. Me. What alternate universe did I just sit down in? Anna Marie, my new friend, who I've only met once, First thing out of her mouth is about my esophagus. Narrow esophagus, that's, that's a symptom of something that's not a medical diagnosis. Maybe the first thing out of your mouth should have been, congratulations, I love your store, I've never been here before. No, Quite no, no. Nice. Nurse doctor went straight in for the esophagus. If you have like a stricture in your esophagus, all you do is chew your food more. If you really have a problem, you go get treatment for that. As a medical professional, my concern is that it sounds like Sutton says she has a narrow esophagus because she doesn't want to eat. Little girls, young girls, women, watch people with disordered eating. Watch this. You're a role model for some people. Like, let's take that a little bit more seriously. I don't eat certain things. How about that? Am I at a doctor's appointment? Every time this comes up, I start laughing. No, no, but why are we talking about so much esophagus? Well, what happened was when Sutton was talking about her esophagus and the narrowing of her esophagus. I mean, she I'm did, like, for the record, say to me, you know, I have a narrowing of the esophagus. And I said, okay, cool. Like, whatever. <laughs> I didn't know that a cool. couple of years later it was going to be. Do you want like me to chew? You like food and spit it in your mouth like right. a little bird. I didn't know she was gonna have a, we were gonna have a full on thing about it until we met a healthcare professional. None of the other ladies have healthcare backgrounds, so it's probably, they probably never thought twice about it. But then I find it so weird that like they pick and choose what they wanna question. And I'm like, why? If something doesn't make sense, question it. You have neuropathy? Yeah. Yes. So you probably take gabapentin. Yes. So I just overheard you say something about like you can, have gabapentin yes. and drink. Question at all. My favorite answer was when Seth goes, well, it works for me. It works and then for me. me. And I thought, <laughs> oh my God. You see, that's, that's, that's funny. It's f***ing <laughs> brilliant. It's f***ing funny. You're not supposed to mix those two things. Don't say that your prescribing physician said you can do it, because I'm like, nobody would say that. Nobody with a license would say that to you. Did I check all the boxes on the form at my doctor's office? Yes, I did. Put your clipboard down. <laughs> I actually was in the van with her. I think it was in Aspen, and she started choking. You guys were behind us, and I was in the car with Garcelle and Sutton. We were not filming. We were just really, like, behind the scenes. And they brought us all, um, like, sandwiches and stuff like that so we could eat. And we pulled over, because Sutton was eating, and she kept spit, like, chewing and spitting her food out because she kept choking. So I had seen her really struggle with her esophagus. Oy. Remember in Rome it came up. Her esophagus? Well, because she chewed it a couple <laughs> times. <laughs> well, she was chewing her food up and spitting right, it out. Yes, because, and we were like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> and then she could not. We're like, what's wrong with you? But anyway, she's right. just chewing her food up and spitting it out. Well, Next. I, didn't, I didn't want to make a big deal out of it. Like, who knows? Let's Maybe. let Anna Marie in a couple of years do that. Right. <laughs> but she got right down to it, you know. Anna Marie solved the case of Sutton's narrowing esophagus. I think she was mad because I didn't have pineapple juice. Because I don't know, I, she mixes tequila with pineapple juice. Or oh, I didn't know that. Something. So I'm sorry we didn't have pineapple juice as a mixer. I will remember that for next time. So that you don't come at me in my esophagus right. and my feet. Does that suit you, <laughs> Anna Marie? And I'm the only what? one that's pronouncing your name right at this point, Anna Marie, so you should be thanking me. It's true. Everybody was like, Anna, Anna Marie. Marie. I'm like, it's Anna Marie <laughs> coming from my esophagus and my feet. All right, so we're moving on to a more serious topic. Your therapy session with Jamie, where you open up about Lorene. May 1st. My very 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 best friend of my whole life i can't even say the word she took her she took her life on may first it's been um a year and a half now yeah. in the phoenix thanks thanks sure that could happen to her yeah if that could happen to Lorraine, it could happen to anybody. Yes. Yes. I knew her inside and out better than anyone. Lorraine was my other half. We always said we were separated at birth. Definitely the most important person in my life outside of my family. 
who knows more about me than anybody else. You know what happened? Because she was so together. I mean, literally in my will, she was in charge of my children, my money, everything. But she was so together. And then I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't have an answer. And I'm so frustrated. I just, you know, I have to do what makes me happy and take care of myself. Yes, you, you know. <laughs> And, and not worry about disappointing people or yes. it would count. I don't want to waste time worrying about the things that are not important anymore. I don't want to be told what to do or I just want, I want to surround myself with people that love me and want the best for me and that I feel better, you know, when I'm with them. Kyle, do you remember at your house when you and I were talking and I said, Kyle, you've been a great daughter, a great sister, a great mother, a great wife, a great friend. You need to cut yourself some slack, okay? Like, you. You, you have to. Because if you don't, you're living up underneath, you know, everyone else's judgment. You've satisfied all of these roles. You know, you've done, you've shown up for everybody. It's okay for you to show up for yourself and to say, I don't want to do this. I don't feel good here. This is something I don't want to do. You've, you know, you've showed up for everybody. Thank you. You can take yourself into account. You really can. Well, that's not like a... I mean, what? What's wrong with no, that? It's okay to say, I don't, I no longer want to do whatever, or I feel like I need to do something. It's all right, Kyle. You've earned the right to be happy, Kyle. And also, you know, that's also part of the drinking, too. It's like, I, I can't afford a day to, you know, when no, you I, can't, I said no. at the dinner party at my house, like, I don't want to have one day of feeling down in bed all day because I had, you know, a few too many drinks or, be around somebody who hurts my feelings, it makes me feel sad the next day. Like, I need to, like, protect myself at all angles right now to make sure I'm really strong because yes. it's yes. just a lot to deal with. Yes, it is. It is a lot. Stuff with your family, Maureen, Mauricio, and you deserve to protect yourself, and you deserve to have people that understand that that's how you're feeling and do not judge you for asking for that space. Or, you know, that's really what friends do. Like, I really... <laughs> want you to know that no matter what yeah, happens. You have a little tear there. <laughs> oh my God, sorry, now it's my, no. now it's my problem. Um, I right want, there, right there. thank you. I want you to know that I'm your friend and I, I'm only here to support you, no matter what it is. I and I don't care what anyone else says about, it's your life, Kyle. I, I didn't feel like some, some women, like I said, um, yeah. And some people in my life too, not off camera, like other people that I, they won't give me the grace that I needed at the moment. Yes. You know? Yeah, you're trying to figure it and out. I really, that really stood out to me who did and who didn't. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I, I'm here to support you. You always are, and I appreciate that. Of course, of course.